Welcome to another edition of Current Events with the editor of the Missoula Current, Martin Kitson. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. We're here with another edition of Current Events where each week we try to talk to the biggest things happening in the government right now. Tell me about the fire levy because I know that's on a lot of minds right now. Yeah, it's coming up in a few weeks. Voters have a big decision to make. Fire departments are looking for a couple million dollars a year through a levy that would fund a new fire station, a new fire company, it would also support the operations of the mobile support team, amongst other things. Yeah, let's dive into that last one, the mobile support team. I know last year there was a ballot that was knocked down. It was the crisis intervention team and some funding. How is this different from that? This has some elements of that. This is a little more particular in how they want to spend it, which they weren't so clear on last year. This was this would fund the mobile support team and the fire department for that new station and so forth. But the mobile support team is an important response that the fire department has built for the last couple of years to, re to respond to crisis and help divert people from jail and get them the behavioral health care that they need and intervene where people are in the moment that they're in crisis. So in like maybe two simple of terms, this is for like mental health crises where like a, a paramedic or like a therapist would show up? Is that so what they, they show up uh, nondescript like in a minivan, so you don't oh, have a big really? police response. So it's very low key. They have an EMT, they have a counselor, a behavioral health specialist. They have other professionals that come and try to talk the person down. Uh, and then get them the help they need. They follow up on the patient over the course of the weeks. And last year, the fire department followed up on more than 7,000 crisis interventions. So that's a lot of calls, and it comes down to one person to make those calls. So the, the team is pretty important what they do. They fill a need in the community, but the funding isn't there. So the city yeah. tipped its program up through ARPA funding, federal funding. Right. That funding's now gone. The city didn't have a plan on how they, they would fund that once that funding dried up, and now they're coming to taxpayers and asking them to fund it. How much are they asking to fund? Well, we don't know how much particular would go to the mobile support team. It's about $1.3 million a year to operate it. The fire levy would raise about 5 to $7 million a year hmm. through the levy funding, and that would go to the fire department, the new fire company, the station, and the mobile support team and other, other causes. So it would be adequate to fund the program, but if the levy fails, we'll see what the city decides to do. How are officials feeling about the levy right now? Do they feel like it's gonna pass or fail? You know, they've been promoting it pretty strongly. I don't know the sentiment yet. I think a lot of taxpayers are asking, Where's our taxpayer money going now? Isn't it going to the fire department? Why do we need to pay a separate levy to fund fire fighting? Um, so there's, there's mixed sentiments out there. A lot of people support the mobile support team and the work that they do as well. So it's a tough call. It's a lot of money and we're gonna have to wait and see how the voters decide for the latest on that coverage. And to dive into more before you vote, check out the missoulacurrent.com. Thank you so much, Martin. Hey, thanks.